Hey everyone, my name is Elisa. I'm here with a step one question for you. Uh, go ahead and pause this and do it on your own and come back with me. So a 44 year old man with HIV visits his physician with a complaint of skin bumps that have appeared on his face and neck over the last few weeks. They're not itchy or painful. He does not have fever, sore throat or rashes. He's currently receiving triple antiretroviral therapy with lamivudine, abacavir and efavirenz. Vitals are normal. Derm exam shows the findings below. Cervical lymphadenopathy is present. The remainder of the exam is unremarkable. His hemoglobin is 12.3, leukocytes are 4.1, and platelets are 149. CD4 count is 305. Which of the following is most likely cause of this patient's findings? Here's the picture. And our options are herpes virus, papillomavirus, Bartonella, pox virus, or coccidioides. Now, um, let's analyze this patient. So I'm gonna scroll down for a second. And we see that this is an HIV patient with a CD4 count of less than 400. About 500 is normal. He doesn't have fever, rash, no systemic symptoms, vitals and red blood cells are within normal limits. He does have cervical lymphadenopathy. And then we see on physical exam, these papules over his face and neck with a dimpled center. Now that is a buzzword for a specific virus and a specific skin condition. Um, classic image, you should memorize what these little uh, bumps look like. Now I thought this was a good opportunity to review a little bit of dermatology principles because uh, the word papules, macules, everything is a little bit confusing to students. So it's good to have a little bit of a refresher. Uh, this is courtesy of Amboss. Thank you, Amboss, for this lovely table. So a macule is a flat lesion less than one centimeter. A patch is a flat lesion less than, greater than one centimeter, excuse me. A papule is a small raised lesion less than one centimeter, and a nodule is an elevated lesion greater than one centimeter. And then plaque is raised greater than one centimeter, and you know, nodules, plaques, vesicles, uh, the rest of these are more, um, you know, you can feel them, they're palpable. So a plaque is uh, more classically more rough um, and it's greater than one centimeter. A vesicle is less than one centimeter and a bulla is greater than one centimeter. And then you can have hives and pustules, um, but those are more understandable. It's the macule patch, papule, nodule, plaque that are kind of difficult. So go ahead and read these and memorize them. Now, continuing on to our options. So our first option is herpes virus. Um, you know, in HIV positive patients, a herpes virus might cause something like uh, oral hairy leukoplakia from EBV, um, shingles from BZV, and then Kaposi sarcoma, which is HHV8, which has purple papules. Our patient has none of these, so we can pretty much exclude herpes virus. Now, papillomavirus, um, HPV, causes the common wart, which looks like this. It's a form of a papule, and it has a cauliflower-like surface, and that's a buzzword for it as well. This patient has uh, a pearly nodular smooth papule with a central dimple, so, you know, not a common wart. Now, Bartonella causes uh, bacillary angiomatosis, which has vascular proliferation with solitary or multiple red, flesh-colored, colorless papules that bleed. That's the buzzword, they bleed. And it classically affects HIV-positive patients. Um, and that's not what he has. This is kind of what that would look like. It's a very like red, angry, um, bleeding lesion. Now, pox virus, the large GNA virus, causes molluscum contagiosum. It typically affects children, however, it can also affect adults with immunosuppression, such as HIV infection, anyone on chemo or on steroids. Um, and pox virus classically presents like that. So, you know, it's a, it causes an outbreak of these small uh, papules with a dimpled center all over the body. So pox virus is a pretty good option. But let's also talk about coccidioides for a reminder. Coccidioides imidis is a fungus that causes coccidiomycosis, aka valley fever. And it has 
nonspecific findings and systemic findings such as cough, fever, fatigue, but also causes erythema nodosum. So there's a dermatological correlate. Um, so you see these erythematous tender nodules which appear on the shins. That's the classic for erythema nodosum. Know what these look like and know what erythema nodosum also presents with. So our answer is pox virus. And the uh, first line treatment for pox virus is cryotherapy. Um, and obviously in any HIV patient, you should always optimize retroviral therapy and um, uh, think of appropriate prophylactic medications uh, to decrease, uh, to boost the immune system, prevent opportunistic infections. All right, thank you. I hope you enjoyed that question and stay tuned for the one next week. Yeah.